Unang dalawang train sets para sa MRT Line 7 dumating at nailatag na. Test run ng mga bagong bagon posibleng simulan sa susunod na taon. Yan at iba pang kaganapan hinggil sa MRT Line 7 project. Panuorin at alamin. San Miguel Corporation, the private proponent for the Metro Rail Transit Line 7 or MRT 7, over the weekend installed the first train sets from South Korea's Hyundai Rota in Quezon City. The two train sets, consisting of three cars each, were dispatched to the MRT 7 trackers between the University Avenue and Tandang Sora after they are cleared by the Bureau of Customs at the Port of Manila. Each train is 65.45 meters long, longer than the entire length of an Olympic-sized swimming pool of 50 meters. More trains are set to arrive in the following months, leading up to 2022. Six train sets are expected to arrive by the end of the year, and more in the next year until all 100 cars or 36 train sets are delivered. San Miguel Corporation President Ramon Ang said, SMC are working round the clock to meet the first test run by next year, since they knew that Filipinos are eagerly awaiting the formal opening of the MRT-7 so that they can experience faster, more efficient, and comfortable travel, which is even more crucial during the pandemic when additional transportation options are required to bring people safely to work and back to their homes. Officials of the then Department of Transportation and Communications San Miguel Corporation and then President Benigno Aquino III broke ground for the project in April 2016. The Public-Private Partnership or PPP Center pegs the project at $754.54 billion as an unsolicited proposal under a 25-year build gradual transfer operate and maintain structure. The project involves the financing, design, construction, operation, and maintenance of the 23-kilometer elevated railway that will have 14 stations connecting San Jose del Monte in Bulacan to the MRT3 North Avenue station in Quezon City. It will also have a 22-kilometer asphalt road from the Bukawi interchange of the North Luzon Expressway to the intermodal terminal in Tala, diverting northern provincial bus operations to San Jose del Monte in a bid to decongest EDSA. San Miguel Corporation said the project is currently at 55.3% completion with the installation of board piles, girders, and other foundational works already completed. The MRT Line 7 shall eventually evolve into a network of 200 kilometers long. Its main feature is a circumferential main line comprising the present line, the airport access segment to the new Manila International Airport, the West Rail Link, and the Phase 2A between the Manila North Harbor and the North Avenue Common Station. Additional branches will also be built in northeastern Metro Manila and Rizal. Train cars fully covered in bubble wrap amaze netizens, with some shared funny comments on the arrival of these new train sets of MRT Line 7. Ria Fadul Thank the seller from South Korea for fast shipping, wool pack bubble wrap packaging, and smooth glass skin-like appearance with no scratches. 
Mark Joseph Ramos is eyeing on the bubble wrap to relieve his stress. Brilain Tungakan wanted it to be double checked to assure it does not contain zombies in reference to the famous South Korean movie Train to Busan. Nala Isabel Aquino is quite curious if South Korean actor Park Soo Joon is inside the train. Ven Bayani is very sure that it's brand new because of the plastic wrap, which are referred to to noise non removal of plastic wrap for brand new items. Abi Romero is asking if will she finally meet her opa if she ride the train since it's from South Korea. Chiyox Antonio now knows how train sets are being installed in the rail tracks of LRT and MRT. Meanwhile, a common online shopping platform comment was dropped by GM, praising the packaging, the seller, and the delivery rider for a job well done. According to Don Alejandro 14, the reason why it's fully wrapped is because it might be planted with bullet in reference to the infamous Tanimbala scheme in Naiya. But he said it's nothing to worry because the scheme is no longer around. Gerald Filarka recalled in jest the infamous Korean movie Train to Busan but later on corrected it to Train to Bulacan, which is the rail line's destination. Shirin Magdalas reminds everyone to be prepared for a zombie apocalypse. Again, in reference to the infamous South Korean movie Train to Busan. And Reggie Ferolino is amused with a bubble wrapping is also hopeful for an unboxing. What do you think about the progress of the MRT Line 7? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.